Hey guys, Audi Triple Five here, coming at you from Sydney, Australia. Stay tuned to hear about how I almost died this morning. So, I was riding to work this morning, and you'll see the clip in a moment, but I'll just describe it before you see it. So, I was riding along, I knew that the cars ahead were stopping, and I was changing lanes, so I turn and do a head check, and then uh, indicate and go to turn. But in the process of doing the head check, the cars in front came into a complete stop, and it was like a quick reflex action to quickly do that turn as quick as possible. So, here's that clip. I'm not gonna lie, I nearly crashed then. So what I've learned from that is probably to be a little bit more observant early in the morning when it's a bit darker, can't really see what's going on. And just to kind of like, just don't be blase with um, changing lanes. It, just check in front, make sure that, that you're not coming up to some lights. And when you do your head check and whatnot, the cars aren't gonna come to a stop and you're gonna smack into them. Learning curve for me, not got out of it safe. So happy about that. And the other thing I want to talk about in this video is lane filtering. Obviously here in Sydney, it is legal. It is completely legal to lane filter. As long as you, you're not on your P's or learners, you do your head check before getting in the lane, you indicate, and uh, the traffic's going slower than 30 kilometers an hour. So I love it. It's really good, it just gets you flowing through the traffic. It's nothing worse than being stuck in the traffic. So, good on you Sydney, you've done something right. Now my whinge about lane filtering though is nothing to do with lane filtering per se, it's just the fact that when I'm doing it on my cruiser, it is massive. So you obviously get a little bit envious at those guys on their little 125 zipping through sports bikes and whatnot that don't really have a wide handlebar but on this the handlebar is pretty wide and the mirrors stick out so if you go buy something such as that van up ahead there their mirrors line up perfectly with these mirrors so it is a bit of a challenge and you've got to really go slow and walk the bike through but mostly you can get through it's not a drama um, there's moments when cars obviously in the lane get too close together and that is a bit of a challenge so I don't lane filter during those times and I don't lane filter if there's a big truck or something up ahead it's just not enough room but on a good day like this there's heaps of room you can just squeeze through and it's pretty good um, I'll just do it sensibly nothing too crazy nothing too fast this is probably about the quickest I've um, done lane filtering, but if it's a bit tight, I'll slow down. And I don't use my my front brake, I just use my back brake. It gives me a little bit more control. And when there's a brake in the traffic, indicate head check and you're in! How good is that? Love it! Alright, so you can lane filter in a cruiser, it's not impossible. It's perfectly fine as long as it's not a tight gap and you don't take it too fast. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Every Tuesday, I release a new video on YouTube on my channel, Audi Triple Five. Signing off from Sydney, Australia. Stay on two wheels, not your head, guys. And I'll see you later. Some of you might recognize this spot here from other Moto Vloggers videos. And if you haven't, well, a lot of.